Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to animate this kind of logo animation in After Effects. I'll also show you how to prepare a logo in Illustrator before animating. By the way, you can download this project file on my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with creating a logo in Illustrator. So first, I select the Rectangle tool and then I click on the canvas to get this pop-up box. Then I set the width and height according to my canvas and then click OK and then I align it to our canvas and then I lock this layer as well. Then I add a new layer right here and then I select the text tool and type a logo name. Right now the text color is black so I change it to white and then I increase the size of the text a little bit. For your reference, I'm using this font for this tutorial. By the way, you can download this project file by the link in the description below for practice. After that, I align this text to the center of this canvas and then I select this text and right-click and choose Create Outlines option. Once again, right-click and this time I choose Ungroup option, so that way the letters are separated. Right now, our letters are in this layer too. So I click this small icon and then I click on the hamburger icon and then select Release to Layers sequence. This will create a new layer for each letter. After that, I select all the letter layers and move them out to layer 2 and then we can delete layer 2 because it's empty. After that, make sure you save this file and when you save this file, save as Illustrator file. And that's it. We are ready to move forward to animate it in After Effects. So first, I am going to import our Illustrator layer which we created before. So when we import the Illustrator file, we might get this pop-up box. So I recommend always import as a composition, retain layer sizes, and after that, open our logo comp. Here you can see our Illustrator layers. First, select all the layers, then right-click, choose Create, then Create Shapes from Vector Layer. That way, Illustrator layers are converted into shape layers, and after that, we can delete the Illustrator layers. Alright, so I always recommend that you should rename your layers so you can better recognize them. So I rename each layer one by one and then we'll move forward. Alright, let's see how to create a path for our ball. To create a path, I am using the pen tool and I turn off the fill option for now and then I expand the view so you can see it better. And then I start drawing a path with the pen tool. You can see I am creating a path and trying to create a rounded path, just like a natural bouncing pattern. So my suggestion is that take your time and try to create as close as possible to a natural bouncing pattern, just like this. After that, I rename this layer as path, and then I go to the search bar and type path so we can see the path properties of this layer. Then I create a keyframe at this point and then I copy this keyframe. After that, I close this layer and deselect everything. Then I select the ellipse tool, but this time I turn on the fill option. Then hold shift on the keyboard and create a perfect small ball. After that, I rename this layer as ball. Also, I am changing the layer label color so you recognize it better and it will look different from the other layers as well. All right, after that, I open the position properties of this layer, then select the position property and paste the keyframes here, which we copied from the path properties. And now you can see there are lots of keyframes added into this position property and our ball is moving on the path we created before, but right now it's too fast. So hold shift, and select the last keyframe and drag it this way to expand it. Then select one of the keyframes and right-click 
and then uncheck this option called Rove Across Time. Then hold Control and click one of the keyframes to convert it into linear keyframes. And now all the keyframes are converted into linear. Right now, you can see if I scrub the timeline, our ball is not in the correct position on the path. So to correct the position of the ball, press the letter A on the keyboard to open the anchor point properties. And from here, we can change its position without changing its anchor point position. So I set the correct position as per our requirement. And now the ball is in the correct position. But right now, the distance between each keyframe is uneven. So I'm going to adjust the position of the keyframes so we can animate them easily. Now it looks much better than before. Let's select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Then I go to the graph editor to check the graph of this animation. And then I expand a little so you can see it better. Now I select this point, double click on it, so you will get this pop-up box. Simply check this box and click OK. By doing this, we are able to control this point easily. Let me expand this view, so I set this point as 500 value. And then I check the animation. And then I adjust this point like this to create a bouncing animation. Let's see the preview and you can see we achieve the bouncing animation by tweaking this graph like this. At this point, I want to tell you that if you are not familiar with the graph editor as well as the speed graph, I recommend you check this tutorial. In this video, I explain how to animate a bouncing ball in After Effects in a detailed way so you can understand the bouncing animation concept very easily. So we have to adjust the speed graph manually like this and repeat this process like I'm doing here. So let me finish this and then I will get back to you. All right, so I animated all the keyframes with the help of the graph editor and here is the final look I got. And now we are moving forward and we'll make a text outline. So first, I place the time indicator at this point where the ball touches the M letter. Then I select the letter M and duplicate it. Rename this layer as M Outline. Then I cut this layer at this point and I also cut the M layer like this. Then I open the M Outline properties and add a stroke. Then I change the stroke value to 5 pixels and if I scrub the animation, you can see when the ball hits the M letter, it changes the shape because we're using two layers in the timeline. One is the outline and another one is the normal one. I repeat this process with the rest of the letters. And here's the final look. So that's how you can create a bouncing ball on the text in After Effects.